what's going on guys how's everybody doing out there i hope you're doing good and you're feeling good in this video today i'm gonna show you guys how to send out your projects from fl studio to other producers so you guys can collab i got um the idea of this video from facebook messenger someone hit me up and asked me uh this question so i'm just gonna do a video for everybody um if you guys have any questions though for, for about fl studio or anything like that just hit me up and i'll try to find uh the answer and make a video for you guys other than that before we start please hit the like button please hit the um, subscribe button hit the notification bell to get updated whenever i drop a new video i hope you guys are going to be able to take something out of this video and make some dope collabs in the future so first what you want to do is let's open fl studio bring a, open up a project where you have um your chorus pattern just your first pattern that you make which is usually going to be a chorus um highlight the rectangles on the channel rack and then make sure all of them are highlighted and then you're going to go to file you're going to export wave file and then uh make a folder for the tracks so i'm just going to go let me see no i'm gonna put the name of the project moody moola 555 and put a track out okay and then so once that once you guys do that this window is going to pop up and the settings that you want to have on is uh leave remainder you're gonna put split mixer tracks 24 bit wave and i have mine on the high highest quality um the higher the quality the slower it's gonna take to export out and then all you're gonna do is press start yeah you got it on pattern oh yeah make sure this is on pattern boom and then press start all right so now i'm gonna go to the folder where i, where I have everything and here we go they're all tracked out right here everything's right here i have um yeah, everything all everything that was inside the channel rack one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine so you have nine tracks these are all the track outs right here and then all you have to do at this point if you want to send it as a zip right click this go to send to and compress zip folder and then it's going to create one for you boom right here you see it's right here i'm gonna put this on the desktop just for this video and then um yeah you can go in here Let me see. and rename all the tracks how you want whatever but according to what they are so the person who's receiving it could easily organize everything and work with it but uh yeah so that's the tracked out part and turn it into a zip file so let's do the midi files now what I suggest before we even start the MIDI files part is save your project how it is. Let's say you just started it or whatever, just save it. After you save, go to tools, go to macros, and then prepare for MIDI export. It says all of the channels are about to be turned into MIDI out channels in order to allow output to a MIDI file. Say, okay. Okay, now it's like this. Now you're going to go to uh, file you're gonna go to go to file export then you're gonna go to MIDI file make a folder for this okay and save as here and for the export um settings you're gonna have it the uh, mode on pattern the tail on leave remainder 
and split by channel mixer channels again and then just export I mean press start now what you do is don't save this after you've done all that don't save don't press control s after that that process because if you do then it's gonna stay like this and they're not gonna have the sounds I don't believe let's see what it sounds like yeah I don't think you can hear anything right no exactly so um and those are the MIDI file part and then just exit out nine nah, saving okay guys here we are back in FL studio and we already exported the track out files we exported the MIDI files and now I'm gonna send the track outs the MIDI files and I'm gonna send the FLP to my boy conflict and have him collab on it and show you guys that process so we're just gonna minimize this boom gonna set up my email situation over here so I'm gonna grab the MIDI files I'm gonna grab the track out files and I'm also gonna grab the FLP you can just go to where your projects are in FL your FL studio monitors is right here so I'm just gonna take these drop that right there and it's called a FLP a fruity loop project file and yeah you just drop it in from right where your projects are and then they should be able to open it up from the other side but some people want to just have the track outs in the the MIDI so might as well just show you everything all right guys so that's pretty much it then all you have to do is press send and that's pretty much it i hope you guys got something out of this video and if you did get something out of this video please hit the like button hit the notification bell please subscribe and i'll be dropping more videos like this if you guys got any questions or any feedback just leave them in the comments and i'll see you guys later peace out